Hello, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to look at parameter files. So a parameter file is how we do use and declare variables in simulation. So let's uh, look for them in the library so we can add a parameter file. It's in other here, parameter file, Put place that in. If you forget that, just type up and find parameter and you'll see it pop to the top there. So we double click on this and then we want to hit uh, file and save or save as. Uh, it'll if we do save it'll save it as parameters whatever default is if you do save as you can name it yourself and then what we want to do is define all of these variables so let's do uh, so these variables we can see here uh, the amplitude for the voltage source is VDC L for the inductance here C for the capacitance R for the load and duty for the duty cycle on this PWM so let's put some numbers in here so VDC will make that equal to a hundred say Let's do L equals 250 micro, and we'll do uh, C equals 50 micro. These are all case sensitive. I'd really like to highlight that. And now let's get into some other ones here. So let's do say uh, V out equals 25 volts. So that means then that our we can make our duty cycle to be equal to 25 or we could do V out divided by VDC and we can then maybe do another one which is going to be the load power so we could do power equals 500 maybe that's a bit aggressive let's say 100 and then we're going to want to make the resistance the proper one so we'll go R equals uh, V out times V out divided by power. So now I've got some expressions in here and I've got, um, uh, and I'm using those to define variables that are coming in here. And we can do another one in here just for, for uh, looking at things. We could say do duty, we can do ones that are, are dependent as well. So let's do test var equals duty plus uh, L, that might make sense. We'll see what those all evaluate as. So we can go edit, show values. And we've got this now in here. So VDC is 100, 250 micro, C is 50, V out is 25, duty cycle is 25%, power is 100 watts, R is 6.25. And we can see test var is 25 plus the L value right up there. So we can see that that's evaluating there. And we can change it. So let's say plus 0.1 we can hit reevaluate and we can see this change down here. Okay, so that is a great method of seeing what the, all these things are gonna evaluate as. Okay, so let's uh, clear that away, close that. Now we should be able to run the simulation and we can see what these pop out as there. So there's some simulation results. Uh, coming back to, this, to the parameter file over here. So they're all here and the expressions and, and math functions we can use are all in help up here. So cruise in here and we can see all of the operators. So there's logic operators you can use as well. We can use uh, the these math functions here like sine and cosine and floor and ceiling. We can use conditional logic, which is pretty fun to do. You can put some pretty interesting things in the with conditional logic and there's some other things in here as well, but these are the main ideas. Okay, so I hope this video was useful. Uh, I will see you in the next one.